What's up YouTube, Jay here again, showing you another video on my saltwater tank. Um, I promised you guys once my new light came in the mail that I'd show you guys what's up. So I'll do a quick review on it and um, show you guys what it is. So this is the stock lighting and this is the new lighting. Real cool looking light. Um, it's from a company called Innovative Marine. Um, this is called their uh, Skylight, S-K-K-Y-E, I don't know, I guess that's trendy, whatever. Um, it's a skylight clamp, um, and it's 8 watts, so it's a really sleek looking fixture. It almost looks like something from Apple, um, the way it's made, so I got the black one right here, but you can also get it in white. Um, so here's the, the main housing. Um, it's got six large LEDs that are, uh, that are 1 watt, and then it's also got four smaller ones that are um, half a watt, so that totals up to eight watts. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like on the back. I think it tells about the spectrum. So it's about four and a half inches wide times two and a half inches high, and then it sticks out from the back of the tank about three and a half. So it'll be mounted on the back, same like this light, and um, it'll probably be that wide or so in between my fingers. So should cover the tank very nicely. Um, I'm not sure if you can read that or not, but uh, you don't think it'll focus. Um, it's 14,000 Kelvin um, is the spectrum. So, like I said in the last video, this light is pretty bright, um, but it's just predominantly a white light, and I wanted a little bit more in the blue spectrum. So, 14,000 Kelvin is kind of a right in between, you know. 10,000 Kelvin, which is predominantly white, and then 20,000 Kelvin, which is predominantly blue. So hopefully this will be a happy medium uh, in the middle. It'll be a nice blend of both blue and white. Um, so anyways, that's what it looks like in the box. Give me a sec, and I'll put it on the tank and um, show you guys what it looks like on the tank. So, Okay, so here are the new lights mounted on top of the tank. Everything is looking good. Um, the first thing that immediately jumped out at me was how much more pronounced the shimmer was uh, in the tank. You can see it you know, on the sand and the rocks that the light is uh, getting all the way to the bottom of the tank and um, really giving it that nice shimmer that's usually you know, reserved for metal halide uh, lights, but LEDs produce the same effect with much less heat. So really, really um, satisfied with the, uh, with the look. Um, like I said earlier in the last video, it's 14,000 uh, 14, Kelvin which is a, a pretty good blend, I think, of both blue and white light. Um, really, I think it, it, it looks good in, in this tank. Um, normally, I don't like buying products that I, you know, I can't see in person, uh, how they look on the tank and stuff like that. So, really kind of took a leap of faith on this light, uh, just based on all the, the uh, good reviews that it had gotten online. And um, uh, I will say that I, I am happy with how it looks. Um, I'll show you guys the profile from the side. Uh, here is the mounting arm. It attaches to the back of the tank just like the stock lighting and um, bends and then here it is out over the top of the water. Um, so from the front it's kind of right dead center in the middle and um, really gives good light spread and coverage uh, over the entire cube dimensions of the tank. So really happy with that. Uh, I'll show you another thing. Um, as far as power supply, another thing I liked about this light is it has um, it has double cords. Uh, one power supply goes to the six one watt uh, 14k daylight bulbs or not bulbs um, to the LEDs, and then the other power supply goes to the actinics. And so the the beneficial thing about that is that you can run them independently of one another on separate timers. Um, the stock lighting actually had a switch that you manually had to flip back and forth to change from one to the other, and um, you couldn't run the whites without the blues, you had to have them both on the same time. This one you can, and um, there's no switch whatsoever. So the moment you attach them to the power supply, they go on. But then once you put them on timers, um, you know you can switch back and forth. So that's really good. Really, really liking it. Obviously, I can't give you a full review, <laughs> having um, having it only for you know a couple minutes on the tank. But first impression is I am satisfied with it. I'll show you guys what it looks like with just the actinix on, if I can find it. Um, okay, I think this is the actinix. Yeah, so here it is with just the actinix, and um, really, really looks good with just the actinix on also. You know, it's only four half watt LEDs, but they still look really good in this tank. Um, I'm thinking that, you know, if I can find some good 
um, photosynthetic corals, uh, their, their cor uh, color rather, their color should pop really good under these lights. Um, but speaking of coral, like I said in the last video, I'm not really, you know, familiar with many corals or, um, you know, types. So if anybody or anybody that keeps corals and, you know, saltwater aquariums, if you could, you know, recommend to me some good uh, nano corals that, you know, that don't grow too big, um, that you think will do well in this tank, I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm not really sure uh, what lighting, you know, category I'm in, whether it's low light, medium light, high light, what, but they look pretty powerful, and most people said they should um, grow medium light corals pretty effectively, so whether that's, uh, you know, Recordias or Zoas or, you know, I don't know, um, just, you know, suggest to me some that might work well, um, I'd really appreciate that, so... Anyways, um, obviously I can't give you a full review of how well they do because there's no corals in the tank, but once I get some corals and, you know, have the lights, you know, running on the tank for a more extended period of time, I can give you a, a better review of how, you know, effective they are at growing corals and whatnot. So, anyways, that's about all I got. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Um, as always, I really appreciate everybody that watches and um, really love all the new subscribers I've been getting lately. So, hope you guys have a wonderful uh rest of the week and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Later.